Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon TCG Online and in this video today we're going to be checking out an Inteleon sniper list where of course Inteleon here has a attack of max bullet for a 2 water 1 colorless 160 and does 60 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So as most of you know Vivid Voltage has come out and we now have access to Telescopic Sight which can increase our attacks to benched V and GX by 30. So instead of dealing 160 and 60 to the bench, we're going to be dealing 90 to the bench. We can 2 hit KO a Crobat V, or it can 2 hit KO a Dedenny, or it can 2 hit KO most other V and GX Pokemon. So of course this is a sniper list. So We'd be trying to attack the bench. Uh, we are also running a one off of Keldeo in here. So Keldeo GX, it's uh, GX attack is Resu Resolute Blade for two water, one colorless, and it does 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This is just in case we come across a uh, Eternatus list. So of course we have our new Jirachi, amazing rare with the ability Dreamy Revelation, being able to look at the top two cards of the deck, put one of them into the hand, and the other back on top of the deck. And then we also run some Zigzagoon for some other sniping capabilities. Uh, we have Frozmoth, and then we have Fiona, which has the ability Whirlpool Suction, forcing our opponent to switch if it's on the bench. And then for Search, we also have Quick Ball, Pokemon Communication, Great Ball, uh, we have um, Capacious Bucket, we also have Viridian Force, and then for Draw Supporters, we have um, Marnie, we have some Research, and we also have Boss's Orders, and all that other good fun stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into a match. I'm feeling pretty good about this list. Um, I've tried it a couple times, and so far I've gotten quite a few wins. A lot of people seem to be conceding against it because they just don't want to deal with it, I guess. So hopefully we can get into a match and we can hopefully get these two Darkness Ablaze packs. I would really love to get that. So let's make sure that, yep, Inteleon Sniper is selected and let's get right into this. Now things that we don't want to be going against would probably be Electric type decks like um, Pikaram or Pikachu V Max, which is a new one that's from Vivid Voltage. Okay, so they have a Champion's Path um, deck box. I wonder what they're going to be playing. They have a Charizard coin, which could mean that they're playing something with fire. It could also mean that they're playing the new Charizard archetype. So we won the coin flip, do we want to go first? No, we don't want to go first. We want to use our supporters, we want to use all of our attacks and things like that. And then we start off with Inteleon and Inteleon VMAX. We can Pokemon Communication away the Inteleon VMAX for something else. We also have a Great Ball and we have Telescopic Sight to attach to our Inteleon. We also have Capacious Bucket for Search. I'm feeling pretty good about this hand. So it is the new um, Char Charizard archetype, which I do want to cover in a future episode. So what it does is it discards the new supporter called Leon, which if you play it, it it adds 30 more damage to your attacks. So the whole goal of this deck is to discard a bunch of those Leons and then deal a ton of damage based on how many of those are in the discard pile. And it looks like they're also running Salazzle, which I believe is the one from Unbroken Bonds. Which discards a Fire-type energy, and then if you do, you can draw three cards. I usually play this with a Sunny Scorch deck, which you can probably view up in the top corner up here with a little eye icon. Okay. So let's go ahead and attach the energy. Let's go ahead and Great Ball. And then we happen to pull a Frozmoth, which could be could be good. And then just for setting up, let's go ahead and Pokemon communicate the Inteleon VMAX back into the deck. And then let's grab something like a Crobat. Alright, let's grab Crobat. And I have an idea. Let's Pokemon Communication the Frozmoth back in. And then let's get a Snom, and then we'll use Crobat. Because Snom can quickly set up one of our Inteleons if we really wanted it to. And then if we get another Pokemon search option in, I mean, off of our Crobat, we could probably get Fione and try to knock out one of these, um, okay. 
See, that's not really what, what I was hoping for. Let's go ahead and Marnie. Because I don't want to get rid of Frozmoth. We're only running a couple Froz, uh, Frozmoth. And that was a lot of resources in the hand. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. There's the Fiona. We could probably knock out one of these um, Charmanders. Hopefully slow them down just a little bit. So the thing about this list is that right now I'm not seeing any uh, V or GX, which means that I'm not getting any extra damage on the bench. So there's our Amazing Rare Jirachi off our prize cards, which is pretty awesome. So that means if our Inteleon goes down, we could probably put up a Jirachi. But off of this next turn, we're going to have Inteleon VMAX go into the active. Oh, the poison doesn't even matter. So we can go ahead and Inteleon VMAX. We can attach an energy. We can Jirachi. Then we can go ahead and Eldegoss. Let's get a Marnie. Because I don't want to get rid of both Professor's Research just yet. We got a Frostmoth. I would also like to ping one of these um, Charmanders on the bench. So next turn, we could probably hit off one of them with Max Bullet. No, I don't want to put an energy back into the hand. That would just that would just help them out. Okay, there's Scoop Up Net, which means that we can scoop up the, the scoop. Ugh, sorry, scoop up the Zigzagoon and then deal another 10 damage to one of those Charmanders on the bench. Okay, so they are playing Welder. I kind of figure. Now, are we going to see the Rare Candy Charizard? Well, there's Evolution Incense. So yeah, let's try to target this Charmander if we really wanted to. Because chances are this is going to be the one that they're evolving. I mean, if we get a boss's orders this turn, we could probably boss up that one. Okay, we got research. Okay, so let's go ahead and scoop up the Zigzagoon. Let's target the other Charmander. And uh, yeah, let, let's just max bullet. And I wouldn't be surprised if I see a concession from our opponent. Because right now, I don't think that there's any way that they're going to be able to come back from this. Okay, there's the Salazzo from Unbroken Bonds. There's the Charizard with Battle Sense. So Battle Sense ability, once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and then put one of them to the hand, discard the others. It's a decent way of discarding um, Leons. So let's see if they have any of the discard yet. No, it does not look like it. So if they can discard like four, if they can discard all four Leon, they're going to be dishing out 300 damage, I believe. Ooh. There's Battle Sense. And then checking their discard pile again, we have one Leon in the discard pile. So Leon's that new one I was just telling you about. Royal Blaze for 150, so they get 50 more damage for every single Leon in the discard pile. It could be troublesome. Uh, let's just see what we grab off of here. We just grab a Snom. That's okay. Because honestly, we could probably just knock out their Charizard. You know, let's go for a Scoop Up Net. Let's dig for Scoop Up Net. Because I don't want to put up Radium Forest. Oh, we didn't get Scoop Up Net. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's just go ahead and max bullet, and then let's target down their Salin. And chances are we're probably going to see a concession from our opponents because there's there's no way that they're going to win this turn. Unless they can skip with net that uh, Saland it. There, yeah, there's just no way. I mean, they could evolve. They could welder. I guess they're just going to smack for 60. So unfortunately Charizard doesn't really have too much on Inteleon because Inteleon's just hitting so much weakness and it can just hit the bench and it can it can do all that stuff. I don't think that Charizard is much of a match against Inteleon VMAX. It might be good against Zacian and Zamazenta and all those, but not against Inteleon. So we'll just tell our opponent they have a good deck, and then let's go ahead and just win the game. So that was a pretty quick victory. Um, I kind of want to show show off this deck one more time. Um, you can definitely tell I was experimenting around with it. This is very similar to the deck that I'm running, IRL. Except that instead of a Dedenny GX, we're gonna, I'm running two Crobats. I don't have two Crobats on the Pokemon TCG online, but I do have one, and I also have Denny on here. Okay, we're going against Match 01K with a Psychic type deck box, which could mean that we could be going against Dragapult or something like that. Dragapult could be problematic because we do have Snoms that will be on the bench, which could be could be one hit KO'd by their Dragapult VMAX. Okay, we have Inteleon start, we have a Quick Ball, we have a Great Ball, we have plenty of Search. I'm feeling good about this hand. I'm feeling really good about this hand. Alright, and what are we going to see from our opponent? Uh, we have a Rotom in the active. So Rotom, this is the one with energy assist from Cosmic Eclipse. It attaches two basic energy cards from the discard pile to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. So here comes a Cherish Ball. I wonder what wonder what they're playing. Could it be Muck? No, it there's a Dedenny, so their hand might be completely dead. So here comes another Rotom. Oh, are they gonna be playing the new Gardevoir? Well, I guess Gardevoir isn't too new right now because um, Champion's Path is a little bit on the older side <laughs> compared to Vivid Voltage. Tag Call. I'm kind of confused as to what this deck could be, but we might be seeing it right now. Oh no, it's Mewtwo and Mew. Okay. We might have a match on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. But if we do happen to get Telescopic Sight, we're definitely going to be trying to target down this Dedenny. We have a Snom that's going to go on the bench. Alright, let's try to see what we get off of Great Ball. Uh, we have Outagoss. Um, You know what, let's go for Quick Ball. Quick Ball, um, something like, um, yes. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. Let's, let's grab a Crobat. Let's grab a Crobat. So we could probably Crobat for three. See what we can grab off of it. Okay. So let's go ahead and boss up this. Because it does have a retreat cost of two. Let's go ahead and thin our, our deck a little bit.
And then uh, let's go ahead and snipe shot something. I really want to snipe shot this thing right down here. The thing about Mewtwo and Mew is, is it can use the attacks of any GX from either the bench or the discard pile, as long as they have the correct energies for that. There's a Naganadel. They're probably going to want to... Yep, here comes Research, and we're probably going to see a bunch of GXs that go into the discard pile. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? There's That's a bunch of GXs! Okay. So they have one Psychic energy on them, so they can use whatever is one Psychic. So they could probably use Horror House GX. What else can they use? Oh, nope! Never mind. I guess they're going dis to dis concede. Okay. Yeah, like I said, a lot of people don't want to be playing against Inteleon. So let's try for this one more time. Let's let's try to get a game. <laughs> yeah, if if, ever, if you don't know yet, um, Inteleon is probably my favorite favorite V Max to be going going up with. All right, we're gonna call Tails. Uh, we lost the coin flip. That's okay. Ooh, the opponent is going first. I wonder what they're playing. Looks like they are using the XY... Um, I believe that's Breakthrough deck box in card sleeves. From the Elite Trainer box. Ooh. A fan fee. And is this the one from Vivid Voltage? It sure is. So we're probably going to be seeing Dawn Fan. And we're just going to see a pass. Well, if I reset stamp them right now, it won't do much good. I also have a lot of resources in the hand. I don't want to research them away. Okay, this hand is significantly better. Let's go ahead and throw up Viridian Forest, and then let's go ahead and pass. We do have a Marnie in hand, and we also have Frozmoth, so if it gets Nom, that could be that could be good. But we're probably gonna wind up Marnieing this hand away. So we're saying Pokemon communication away the the fan fee for a Denny. Interesting, interesting. So looks like we're seeing Aurora Energy going into the discard pile along with Great Catcher. There's the Dawn fan. So I'm a little bit worried about placing down the Denny or Crobat because Crobat and the Denny both have a weakness to fighting types. Oh, there there goes Great Enforced. So that's Earthquake for Knockout. But that damages all of their- Ooh! This could be good, this could be good. Keldeo. Doesn't really help me out too much. It's Marnie. See, there's the Crobat I was talking about. I don't want to play it on Crobat because that's just two price liability. Go ahead and quick ball it away. Let's grab something else. Uh, what do I- what would I- what would I get grab though? I guess we could grab Fione? I mean, what do we have in our hand? We have a scoop up net. Hmm. I mean, they do have a 20... Ooh. You know what? Yeah, let, let's let's grab it. Let, let, let's grab the Fione. Or Fione. However, however you want to pronounce it. So let's go ahead and attach. Uh, let's Whirlpool Suction. Make them switch. Because I don't want them to use Earthquake, and they already damaged a lot of their Pokémon. 
And then let's go ahead and Hedger Snipe for Knockout. So there's a Water Energy. We're definitely going to be using Max Bullet this next turn. Which can knock out the Dawn Fan. And we can also try to knock out this Spiritomb on the bench. So there's Earthquake for 130. There's a Snom. I'm not worried about this. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's try to cripple them. You're gonna be taking two prize cards, which is good. But I'm also worried about that that spirit team on the bench. Okay, we did pull Eldegoss, uh, which means that we could probably Eldegoss for a Marnie or a Research. We could probably we could probably just get Research to be honest, because didn't we discard it? No. Okay, we're getting a Marnie. So we're seeing Jirachi going into the active. We could probably knock out that spirit team on the bench to make sure that they don't have a very powerful attacker, because Anguish Cry. Is 30 more damage for each damage counter on the Pokemon. So it has 5 damage counters so far. It's going to be dishing out... Let's see here. 160 damage. How much damage do we have on already? We have 130. So it'd be... Yeah, 290. 290 damage. That's going to be on our Inteleon VMAX. Not enough to, t to KO. Ooh, Marnie could be bad right now. Oh no, here comes the Marnie. Man, I had some really good stuff in my hand. Oh well. I mean, it's just Frozmoth and Eldegoss. We could probably Pokemon Communication for it. Okay, never mind. This hand is completely rubbish. There's another Spear Tomb. Building Spite. Scoop up net. Do they have Aurora energy? Oh no. Oh no, they do! Oh no! Oh, this is bad. This is bad, ladies and gentlemen. Has 50 HP remaining. Oh, we have Snom. Oh no! Oh, this is bad. Ugh. Well, this is horrible. Um... I mean, shoot. Good, great ball. This is not ideal. But now they're in snipe shot range. You know what, I'm okay if they knock out the Snom. Let's go ahead and reset them. Make sure that they have a bad hand. It's energy retrieval. Pass turn. So now that they don't have... Ooh. Okay, so they're gonna building Spy once more. Well played! <laughs> oh. Oh. They had a boss. Dang it. <laughs> I made a wrong play, ladies and gentlemen. I made a I made a noopsie. If only we targeted that Ah, uh, if only we targeted it. It would have been ah, uh, we would have won that. Uh, instead, we only helped our opponent win. So, that was an oops on my part. Let's try again! <laughs> that was a big oops. So, lesson learned. Spiritomb comes on the bench and has a bunch of damage counters. Target it! Don't let it get away! <laughs> So, NL, uh, NL Hamilton is choosing. Uh, do we want to go first? No. 
I'm not sure what this deck box is, but it. Oh no. We have a Crobat start. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, Torkoal! Oh, it's a fire deck. Okay, we have. We have advantages. They are running Salamence and Dubwool. This could be problematic. So let's go ahead and play Capacious Bucket. Let's get some energy into our hand. Let's go ahead and attach the Telescopic Sight. I don't want to play Marnie just yet because I do want to see about getting that out of the, getting that other water type energy into the hand. And then if they play a stadium, which would probably probably be the giant hearth, we could probably Viridian Forest. Okay, that's a lot of energy in one turn. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that in play. Go ahead and Marnie. Well, this isn't ideal. Um, yes. Let's go ahead and get rid of this boss's order. Then down the deck. We're seeing a crushing hammer come from our opponent. Hopefully they don't hit heads. Oh, they hit heads. Dang it. <laughs> Powering up double. Team crush for knockout. Let's go ahead and sign up Jirachi because we do have a scoop up net. Well, that doesn't help. Um, we do hit a Great Ball. Let's go ahead and see what we get off the Great Ball. Uh, we do see another Inteleon, we also see Eldegoss. No, let's get Inteleon. Let's go ahead and boss up this. Hope, hopefully we can slow them down a little bit. Scoop up Jirachi, send up Inteleon. Snipe shot the Torkoal. Okay, so we're seeing the switch. Welder. We're seeing an attachment to Salamence. Ooh, that Zacian though. We're seeing Oranguru go down, which means that they can definitely hit that combustion pillar. And then Steam Crush for. Oh, I guess they're just gonna hit 120. Oh. Okay, that's mean. Alright, let's go ahead and Marnie.
We do see a Fione, a Jirachi, another Marnie. Let's quick ball away the other Inteleon. Let's grab Crobat. Never mind, there's no Crobat. Crobat's prized. Let's grab the Denny. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and Whirlpool section make them make them switch. Okay, so we could probably get the Frost Moth. Probably quick ball one of these research away. Let's get Snom. Let's go ahead and Viridian Forest away this Keldeo. And then let's get an Energy. See, I, I wasn't aware that the Torkoal would just get rid of all of my energy. Okay, this might be a little bit problematic, but the Salamence does have a powerful energy attached. Super Cross, hitting for a bunch of damage. So let's go ahead and get Frozmoth going. Uh, let's go ahead and research. Uh, we did hit Energy Retrieval, which could be decent. Let's go ahead and Ice Dance those on. Probably Pokemon communicate away the Zigzagoon. Let's grab an Inteleon. Set up the other on the bench. Could probably scoop up net the Jirachi. And then let's see about Quick Ball. Let's go ahead and grab the Fione. Let's go ahead and get rid of the other telescopic sight. Get another energy. Let's go ahead and ice dance that other energy onto our Inteleon VMAX on the bench. Then let's go ahead and Whirlpool Suction. This is not ideal, but let's try to see what we can do. How much health does Torkoal have? Exactly 160. We won't be KOing it. Or they can just send up a Rangaroo. They probably have a switch in their active. I mean, not in their active, in their, in their hand. But we have access to energy, so if they happen to switch into their Torkoal, we could probably switch out of it. Send up Inteleon, take some prize cards. Ooh, a Hound Doom. So even even if we do get boss's orders, we could probably boss something up. Another Ooh, another energy going down onto that. Alright, let's see what we grab off of Great Ball. Um, yeah, we could probably get. Zigzagoon. Let's go ahead and Misty Lorelei. Let's 
get our remaining energies out of here. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and Hydra Snipe for Knockout. Let's take some prize cards. Please be a Crobat. Okay. Okay, that works too. Because now we can start targeting down this Twerkle. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, okay, that- oh, okay. Okay. How much health does he have left? 210? Okay, this is starting to get a little bit problematic. But we do have another Inteleon. Oh wait, no. Oh, they're just gonna win this turn. Hold on a minute, because they're gonna knock out the Frozmoth. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, this this is not going to plan. This is definitely not going to plan. <laughs> yeah, there's Heavy Swarm knocking that out. Okay. I need a scoop up net. Eldegoss. Okay, we can Eldegoss. Happy match. Wait. How much health does it have? 50. Oh, even even if we do boss up that Torkoal. Well, how much... What does this do? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's, let's get research. Definitely get research. Research the hand away. We can reset them to one. Oh, that's problematic though. I'm all I'm all out of all out of cards. Well, this is fun. This has been fun. This has been a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I mean, the Fiona is going to save us from having to deck out, but the double, though, there's 30 more for every single prize card I've taken, so it's going to be doing 90 more. Oh, oh, no, that's just going to be game. Alrighty, then. Alrighty. <laughs> well, that's two losses in a row. That hurt. Okay, well then, I've definitely got some work to do on this deck, so yeah, that, that was supposed to be Inteleon Sniper, but I've not been, I've not been getting very, very good. Okay, um, yeah, I was hoping to get another win in because I was a Fire-type deck, but the way that it just ran, just completely ran me over. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of this deck. Um, I definitely need some improvements to make, I probably need to add Switch cards in. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, what was what was your favorite part of the three matches that we did? Um, so leave a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and we'll probably be seeing you within the next episode.